Hello, everyone. Let's see what the... Oh, I hear the hashtag coming from KG Tropicals. Welcome to the live stream. I was just listening to John and Lisa and the earpods there, the airpods. They're coming over with the hashtag cherries. There we go. We got Deuce Nukem at cherries. Deuce Nukem, hashtag cherries more like. Yeah, Melissa Graves. Oh, yeah, here they come. All the hashtag cherries. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to River Life Community Tank Live. We're going to be talking about some best techniques for beginning aquariums. And this is a great group to talk about that uh, with. You guys have got so many experiences that you can share. We're going to leave these up in the chat as this becomes uploaded on the YouTube channel as content in the catalog. So please get involved in the chat tonight. Take your, take your cuts. Let's talk about some best practices for beginning aquariums. Let's get some new people in this hobby enjoying fish keeping, having success that they can then share. Look at the, oh my gosh, we got, hang on just a minute. Hang, I got to scroll down here and look at these super chats rolling in here. We got lefty 3213A. What's going on there, lefty? He is here with a 199 super chat sticker. Thank you very much. King and Queen Cichlids in the house, $20 super chat. Thank you. You're spoiling me. Spoiling me, Scott. It's past your bedtime. It's past my bedtime. Oh, yeah. My man, Rack. Well, my man, Scott. Yeah, I wasn't calling you old, Scott. I'm older than you are, young man. We have got a house full tonight. Thank you guys for rolling in here. What is up? 54 watching right now. Hashtag cherries just still bombing the screen thank you so much fish room fever is in the house moderator member fish room fever he's going to be up next following this live stream we've got the nocturnal feeding show on the chattanooga ed channel with fish room fever and co-host chattanooga ed keeping it live keeping the keeping the party going chattanooga ed you say his name he drops a five dollar super chat thank you so much for that chattanooga ed oh it's a super sticker we've got a painting fox that says number one. Oh, that's just near and dear to my heart that's a great super sticker right there chattanooga ed thank you so much Immediately following Chattanooga Ed Super Sticker is a $5 super chat from the Fish Tank Barn who says, Tip jar, speaking of bedtime, I'm headed to bed soon. We'll catch on the replay. That's Mike Cal, my buddy over at the Fish Tank Barn. Man, these are some wonderful YouTube channels represented by these super chats. I hope you guys will check them out. Worth your effort. Great content. I love hanging out with all of these people. No strangers to me. Just beautiful people. Um, and they're just giving their time and their effort here in the chat already tonight. Thank you guys so much. We've got more fun coming up following this live stream. We're following a great live stream. KG Tropicals, John and Lisa over there, always doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much for your support of the River Life channel, sending all these hashtag cherries over here. And those guys followed another great live stream from the Aquarium Co-op. So it's a live stream party tonight for sure. It's Thursday night, 10.30 p.m. is when we started here in the east. So it's a little earlier for you guys in the west. 10.33 now, 76 watching. Thank you guys so much for pouring in here. We've got a good topic. We've got great people. Look at all these mods over here. I've got Punchy Paints, Class A Fine Artist who inspires me. Thank you, Pam, for being here. Uh, Angela Cross, River Wife, is in the house. Kaler's Aquatics, more aquariums. Uh, then you can check a stick at some excellent experience. I hope you chime in the chat tonight, Bob Kaler of Kaler's Aquatics, and share some of your experience with us. Fish Room Fever, um, Alaska Hood, all the way from Alaska. We're we're coast to coast now. We're wall to wall with wonderful people over here in the chat. JH Aquatics, um, formerly of the Virgin Islands, currently of the New England states here in the U.S., doing all kinds of crazy things in their project tanks in every room of his new house. I can't wait to see what comes out of those things. We've got another $5 sticker with the hype hippo, the hippo hyping hype hippo. That is one cool sticker. Thank you. Fish room fever for the $5 super sticker. That is excellent. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Zen gingers here. Are you kidding me? Now it's a party. 
We've got some celebrity mods in this house. I'm not even kidding. Thank you all so much for all you do for showing up. If I missed anybody. Oh, somebody text me right now. I'll blow my phone up if I miss Candy. I don't want to miss giving her a shout out. We've got Kaler's Aquatics dumping a super sticker. It is a purple flexing boss. Look at the gun on that boss. Wow. Thank you so much for that, Kaler's Aquatics. I appreciate that super sticker. Yeah, we have got so much. Mains, tails, fur, and fins. Hey, from Louisiana. Well, hello back to you from Tennessee. Welcome aboard. I'm glad you're here. HC Aqua here from Hawaii. Okay, now we've got excellent United States representation. Have we got anybody from outside the United States? Usually I have some Aussie friends in here. Not uncommon to have UK visitors. But wow, UK, we've got Hawaii and Alaska, Tennessee, well represented, Vermont, Wyoming, Dragon Lair. Where the Dragon Lair? Oh, God. Uh, and I know where you're from, but I forget. It escapes me right now. Wade Grigsby's in the house. Paul Smith is from Bahrain. Okay. Now, now we're talking. Got them from all over. Melissa Graves from South Carolina. Sandy Dottie's here. Welcome, welcome. Illinois. My goodness. Canada. We got Canada in the house. Welcome, Canada. Good day, eh? You maple leaf. Utah, New York, Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Is it Alabama for Patrick? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Western Australia, GRB Aquatics. It's 10.36 a.m., and who knows on which day that is in Australia. Actually, I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow from here. Then you got Georgia, just folks from all over, Alabama, Devon, UK, Washington State. Thank you guys so much. I love all you guys. Thanks for being here. Maryland, Nevada, North Dakota. Holy cow. My goodness, the map is full. 87 people here now. We are from all over. Diversity rocks, diversity rules. I love diversity. I love making peace. I love making new friends, building community, and we're doing it right here. Speaking of community, uh, I do want to um, I do want to lay down some best practices for beginning aquariums so that when people are searching the internet for how do I start an aquarium, this is one of those things that show up and it's not just one creator giving his ideas or her ideas. They can, Hey, science gal aquatics. We still need to get together on that collab. Ginger Graves is here. Ginger, I put something special in the mail for you today. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for purchasing that beautiful painting from me. But this is a, this is a collaboration between all of us. Look, all these wonderful people, big city bed is in the house. Wow. Talk about fish keeping experience. I want people who stumble upon this video to have the benefit of all of your experiences when we lay down some really good ideas uh, to help folks get started with an aquarium. Kenner's Aquatics busting on another $4.99 super sticker. And look, it's a high five from different colored hands, signifying that diversity, unity, one love, one blood. Thank you for doing that, uh, Kaler's Aquatics. I appreciate that. And I concur. Nice work. Nicely done. Well played, Bob. So uh, speaking of building community, I do have an art show hanging. And I mentioned Punchy Paints uh, is one of my mods, Pam. I just got this in the mail from her this week. She's a beautiful lady and a wonderful artist. And uh, I have so anticipated getting this Osprey original work from Pam Earlywine Art. And it arrived today. I'm so glad. It all got started months ago when she made this that I had to purchase it from her also. A little Corey school. She just sits down and draws these. They're small, two and a half by three and a half, something like that, artist trading cards. And you can own an original piece of art without going into debt, without getting hurt. And so that's, she's been such an inspiration in so many ways to me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got some more activity on the board over here. Gina French busting a $5 super sticker with the fox screaming hiya. Well, hiya back at you, Gina. And thank you so much for that super sticker. I really appreciate that. Priscilla MK is in the house. $2 super chat. Keep the energy going. You got it. You got it. 
We are definitely going to keep the energy flowing. Priscilla MK, formerly Priscilla MK Art, another artist right here on Fish Tube and the Fish Fam that has inspired River Life Art to the moon and back. I don't know how many of her prints and signed prints. And I mean, because every time you go to a convention, they've tapped her to do some of the uh, signature art for the event. Also have one of her t-shirts. She, if you're fortunate enough to have one of those, I don't know if they're still available. Sweet, a fish fam red arowana, Asian arowana t-shirt that Priscilla designed. And once upon a time was available, I think on Teespring. Yes, but thanks to all of my artist friends that are in the house who are inspiring me and encouraging me. I do have an art show hanging in a very special place in my local hometown here, Mountain Home, Tennessee. It's actually in the neighboring city, Johnson City, Tennessee is where the gallery is. And uh, the name of the gallery is Spark Plaza Gallery. And th they encourage everyone in the community to make their mark. They are community builders. They're the first co-working space in Johnson City, family owned. And they just inspire community members to make their mark. They encourage and recognize community members when they do something that makes a mark on the local community. They're fantastic people to work with. So shout out to Jose Castillo, his wife, Shannon, and uh, Carly, uh, Jose's assistant, who's done so much to help me get the art show hung and available. And I want to tell you a bit about that. It's an online art show. Oh, before we go on, we got Ginger Graves. She has just posted a $10 super sticker that is the super pair, the super pair flying through the air. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's super pair. Thank you, Ginger, for that $10 super pair. I appreciate that very much. So the online art show, it's Rack Cross Endorsed by Nature online art show. Uh, you can check out a YouTube video right here on the River Life YouTube channel. Shameless plug. And it's the thumbnail says aquarium art. That is the online art show. You can, if you don't want to hear the artist talk, um, you can skip ahead to uh, the four minute mark. And I've even put a link in the description that's embedded. So you just click on the four minute mark. It's in blue. It'll skip right to the uh, paintings hanging in the gallery. And I'm not kidding. These paintings hang in that space so well. That building, that downtown building, the charm, the red brick, unfinished brick, it just lends itself to these uh, color field paintings that I've done. They're very, they're, they're abstract, warning, warning. They're abstract. They're forward leaning. Um, they're contemporary but they are tropical fish inspired. There are some that have suggestive titles of the tropical fish that inspired them. And then we did some local indigenous uh, characters, if you will, also including the brook trout, the only trout native to the state of Tennessee, the brown trout and the rainbow trout were both introduced. And uh, some, some other living organisms that you find near water, not necessarily in the water, but terrestrial, like a red-winged blackbird, a spotted salamander. Well, one of my favorites, by the way, is a spotted salamander. Pretty cool. Anyway, those are just suggestive titles. It's abstract art. It's um, minimalist abstract. I call the form irreducibly complex. It's, it's so simplified. But it's mostly color field painting. I hope you like it. They have rhythm. They have rhyme. If you'll give each painting a minute of your time, they'll have a conversation with you. Um, that's one of the things that I, I felt I needed to do when I started uh, introducing you guys to the art. I, I did a three-part video for Patreon members, how to appreciate contemporary art, because I remembered as a younger adult not understanding, definitely not appreciating contemporary art. And when I learned that this was a thing and I actually accomplished that, I learned how to appreciate contemporary art. My life got so much more beautiful that I wanted to share it with other people. So it may not be for you. That's okay. That's okay. If it is, go enjoy it right now. And if you think maybe 
you would like to learn how to appreciate contemporary art, check out River Life Art on Patreon. The Masterpiece level offers a three a three video series on how to appreciate contemporary art. And each month you will also receive a uh, River Life Art print. Uh, these prints are available on River Life Art Etsy page, but the ones that are going out to the Patreons are not available on Etsy. So Patreon gets first pick and then later they'll be made available on Etsy. So there's that. And that has everything to do with building community. Building community never goes out of style. Building community is always on time. We have a community right here. 87 people here. You're part of a community. Uh, we've gone out of our way and maintained a special space, us fish keeping guys, us river life, community tank live uh, people, so that we can have a safe area to share our ideas. We don't have to worry about being embarrassed or shouted down or pushed out. Um, we have a lot of mutual respect for each other. And by doing so, we generate a lot of mutual benefits for each other. So we are a community. It was a wonderful way for me to do another solo art show uh, in a way that was so community oriented. It's an online art show, a special social situation caused the gallery to close. We had this show scheduled months in advance. And all of a sudden, we may not have a show. Well, no, no, no. We, we need to have a show. Let's let's figure out an adaptation to this social situation. And we did. We hauled off. And now we have an online art show. Again, you can check out the uh, YouTube video that actually is the online art show. The thumbnail says aquarium art because the all of the art was inspired by tropical fish. And then it's just kind of grown from there. We've got a new member in the house, um, KG Tropicals. I'm so honored to have KG Tropicals as a member. Thank you so much for becoming a member of KG Tropicals. That is really a lot of support. I mean, you as a creator, long-term creator, mentor of mine, you know the energy that's required to operate and maintain, sustain a YouTube channel. And that membership much like the like button that's free. It's like gas in the tank. No matter how smooth the engine is running, how good the camera is, how well the microphone sounds, um, what software you're using to broadcast across the interwebs, it's the encouragement that keeps you going. And, and things like memberships and likes and super chats and stickers, that's the gas in the tank doesn't matter what kind of car it is, how well it's running. The gas is necessary. Unless you have an electric vehicle like I do, and then you just substitute electricity for gas. It's, it's all the same, only different. And I'm distracted because the screen has lit up again with people contributing actual money. Sir, prawn a lot. Australian, $2. There's another one from Australia. Would you rather a shrimp-sized dog or a dog-sized shrimp? I see this as the common question that Sir Pronalot likes to ask across uh, different YouTube channels. I'm going to say that I would rather a, a dog-sized shrimp. Yeah, I got to see that. Show me a dog-sized shrimp. Even if it's a chihuahua, I'd still like to see it. Um, oh, my gosh. Priscilla MK has also become a member, a sustainer, uh, following KG Tropicals. You guys are awesome. Now, they, If you look in the chat, you'll see these guys get the awesome koi avatar by their name. King and Queen Cichlids jumping in there as a member. Thank you so much, Scott and Liz at King and Queen Cichlids. They're also going to enjoy the Koi icon as a sustainer level member. And I'll mention now, I just finished telling you about the art show. Um, Scott of King and Queen Cichlids has a tank of fish. Um, Cuban Cichlids. I watched the video immediately. That's I, I forget, Scott, when you posted that video, immediately became inspired. I ordered a fedora. I did. The fedora arrived. I immediately started wearing the fedora. If you followed the River Life channel, you may have seen it. 
over on the River Life Art Facebook page. That's where the art's happening. A lot of art's happening at the River Life Art Facebook page. I did an artist reception. It was a live stream. Um, and I appeared initially in the fedora. So Scott's Cuban cichlid video and tank. Scott wears a fedora, has a cigar. It definitely inspired me. So just this week, I hear from Scott and he said, hey, here's a couple of pictures of my Cuban cichlids. Would you consider making a piece of art? And I said, sure, I would. So um, the way my work process goes, and, and I don't recommend these Cuban cichlids for beginners, okay? Um, that that We're going to talk about the Cuban cichlid, but not in the context of the title of this live stream, not a beginner fish. It's actually a beautiful predator fish uh, that's worth the effort to learn how to care for. So Scott sent me a couple of pictures of his fish, and I got busy in the way my workflow goes is I'll do an initial sketch, okay, that's very reminiscent of the fish. Then I'll reduce it, and then I'll simplify it and oversimplify it and end up with an abstract piece of art that was definitely inspired by the fish. So I want to show you the, the initial sketch. I've already sent this to Scott, so, so he already knows. This is the initial sketch uh, of the Cuban cichlid after studying Scott's fish, okay? And I'm looking forward to this one going forward. We're gonna do it on a much larger canvas once we get it completely simplified. I did the reduction and Scott's already seen this, so I'm not doing any reveals here. Um, here's the reduction. So now the next step is, is going to be the simplification. So we're gonna end up, from this, we're gonna end up with an abstract design. Can you, can you see it? This is very reminiscent of Scott's fish. And then we, we reduced it. And the next step is going to be the simplification. And then we'll put it on a canvas and we'll see what Scott thinks about it then. So Scott, thanks for reaching out. Oh, you're awesome, Scott. He keeps saying that awesome word because he's awesome. And I love having him as a friend. He and Liz... And I've got a chance to meet. I see them at the major fish conventions. They're running the show. They're the cichlid bosses. Uh, beautiful people. Always willing to help other people. It doesn't matter if it's fish keeping or having a YouTube channel or just checking on them, you know, in their life in general. Just beautiful people. So, yeah, I was happy to jump right on that, Scott, especially since I, I was already inspired by the fish. It was a no-brainer. Your, your video, because you took the time to share with us, inspired me. And I hope that happens uh, with my art and this live stream. I hope people get inspired. I hope their life becomes more beautiful because they tuned in. They checked it out. Um, they got some good information, some good feedback. Now, that's that's why we do these things, right? Riverwife has responded to Pam. So that means uh, Punchy Paints who's a wonderful artist and has also inspired me. Oh, Angela, she said, don't you love the colors and the shadows? Are you talking about the colors and the shadows of this guy? I think so. Look at that. Heck yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, River Wife's comment was, Pam really captured life in this picture. This is an excellent work. Thank you so much. Uh, KG Tropical says, uh, that package I've been talking about is finally being mailed out tomorrow. It's on the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, I've had this agonizing anticipation. For, when did you promise to send that to me, John? It's been a couple of years, two and a half years now, something like that, four years. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Y2K. Anyway. It wasn't that long. It was just a couple of weeks ago. Thank you very much. I look forward to receiving uh, a nice gift. Hey, Cooley Kev, no matter what it is, John, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to having it. Um, and King and Queen Cichlids mentions the Keystone Clash is coming up in September. Scott tells me that's a show, a fish show, that also has an art show portion. I keep checking on their website, and it says check back for details. So, Scott, if you are... If you know of any details on the art 
show of the Keystone Clash. Let me know if there's someone I can contact. Let me know. I'll give them a shout. Yes, Alaska Hood, it is. It's a great painting, especially if you love Osprey like I do. I'm a bird nerd. That's so cool. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, KG Tropicals confirms it's been over a month. Okay, it's been a month. Uh, it's uh, going to be that much longer. We're closer than we've ever been. And whatever it is, I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm going to take it out of the box and have it right here on my desk, my messy desk someplace or on a wall or in the floor. I don't even know what it is in a tank. <laughs> and I'm going to show it to you. So I'm going to share it. Okay. But we do need to move along here a little bit. It's 1055. We got 87 still watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. Streetwise is here. Streetwise is a member. Thanks a lot. How about an abstract CPD painting? How about it? Yeah. So here's what happens. You guys make comments like that. And I make notes. And I keep the note. And every now and then I look through the notes and sometimes something will strike me. And that'll be the day. That will be the day. Okay, I'll tell you this. If CPD means Celestial Pearl Danio, which I think it does, I've already done one. There's a print available on Etsy right now. You can check that out. River Life on Etsy. And Ginger Graves, who's in the chat, uh, owns, <laughs> there she just said it. She owns the original. Yes, uh, and I'm so happy that she does. She's a wonderful River Life art collector. I appreciate her very much. So, there may be another one of those. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it back on the list. There's so many inspirations to follow up on it. You never know. You never know what the day is going to bring. I know what June the 2nd is going to bring. It's going to bring me a haircut. I have got this quarantine mop swoop going on, and I'm just, I've got to live with it. I'm just bringing it to the party every day until June the 2nd, and then it's gone like magic. Poof. Okay, just, yeah, I'm glad I got to tell you guys that. Not the norm. Go back and watch some older live streams, and you like, you'll see the high and tight I like to keep. This is not it. Not it. Special circumstances. Um, actually, Bob Kaler of Kaler's Aquatic says, has anyone suggested a Jack Dempsey? Actually, I did a Jack Dempsey. Um, sold it. It was a small, I, I did, it didn't graduate to the larger scale. Uh, and sometimes that happens in the reduction phase. It it loses its um, its luster somehow going going larger. So it it made it to the second stage, and I had a smaller sketch and sold it. But it was it was a beautiful fish. I had some wonderful photographs. I did a great study. I may go back to it, Bob, since you mentioned that. I may I may recheck I may recheck on the Jack Dempsey. It's just such a cool fish. But we got to talk about some beginner fish. We got to be true to the thumbnail, or else I'm clickbaiting. Oh gosh, the internet police will jump on me for clickbaiting. Big Tank Hank in the house, giving praises to Punchy Paints. I love it. I love it a lot. You guys are awesome. Who am I missing? I'm missing somebody. I'm sorry. Deb Hall D. Welcome. Um, if I'm overlooking your name, I'm sorry in the chat. I'm just trying to chew gum and walk at the same time. And maybe some of you know, you feel me. Lefty 3213A says, I would love some shrimp. Inspires art and more kois. I do have a koi. I've got a fruit flying here. I've got a koi canvas coming up tomorrow on the river life art chat um yeah that's pretty cool okay so beginner fish i want to say i want to say my first aquarium was a 10 gallon aquarium with all the bells and whistles got the meta frame kit you guys know the slick chrome um metal frame slate bottom and that silver full hood um i was rocking one of the first hang on the back filters the dynaflow magneto drive and uh, it was a wonderful experience it was 
And now the kits, they're not the highest quality, but they're complete. They are complete. And the big box has very cheap offerings. Uh, I did a video. The thumbnail says five gallon bucket aquarium. You can start an aquarium in a five gallon bucket. And they have these filters that will hang on the bucket or have suction cups that stick to the bucket at the big box stores. They're less than 15 bucks. They, they have some. I've seen them online for less than 10. I wouldn't recommend that. But less than 15 bucks, you can filter some water. Hello, Lookout. Lookout, the retriever, has come to the lot. Come up here. Come up here. Come here. Come. You want to see the boys and girls? You got to come up here. Come here. They think I'm crazy. They think I'm not talking to a dog because they can't see you. Come here. Come on. That's a good girl. It really was a dog. It was. Guess who likes outdoor fish tubs? This girl. Can, are you Stevie Wonder? Are you? Yes. She imitates Stevie Wonder when she wants a treat. Is one of my favorite entertainers. <laughs> River wife brought her a treat. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Come here, Stevie. Are you Stevie? Are you Stevie Wonder? Yes. <laughs> she says... <laughs> superstitious <laughs> okay writing on the wall i hope i don't get demonetized for that music sample good girl good girl here's another treat okay five gallon bucket 15 dollar filter boom so um i just say that to illustrate money isn't the barrier i don't think money is the barrier for someone starting an aquarium it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be. I know everyone in this chat right now, if I said, hey, I know a kid in your area that would like to start keeping fish. Do you have a spare tank they could borrow? I feel certain we could get a kid a tank or an adult, you know, a senior, senior citizen, you know, at a senior home. I, I think we could do it. So I don't think money is the barrier. I think, I think it's a lack of expertise that causes the hesitation and if we can lay down some information and in live streams, leave the chat up and videos, you know, KG Tropicals is here. His slogan is keep fish keepers keeping fish, right? So this is just an extension of that. Let's get them started and then keep them keeping fish. That's all. And I, if, if money isn't the thing, if equipment isn't the barrier, then how do we lay down that information? How do we open the gate? and say, come on in, it's cool, water's fine, come on in. So I think we need to uh, we need to have some different ideas. Sometimes we give the uh, do it this way and someone may give it a try and it won't work for them. You know, you ever had that happen? Have you ever had that happen? I mean, it just didn't work for me. You can see it on TV or you can see it on a YouTube video and it's beautiful when someone else does it, but it doesn't work for you. So I think it's diversity. Let's lay down some ideas for people to come in here and pick up. So, so how do you start an aquarium? You have a vessel, you put water in it. Um, maybe you make sure the water's filtered. You got some water movement either by air or an electric pump. And filters are very inexpensive. They're all over the internet, eBay, Amazon, big box store, local fish store, friends, neighbors, you know, fish keepers, fish uh, keeping clubs. And then it's just a matter of knowing what to do. Don't overfeed. What's overfeeding? Well, fish don't need a lot of food given by you to sustain themselves. And uh, this is the way I've heard it. Now, you guys keep, you guys start chatting right now. You guys start putting in some of your ideas from your experiences, okay? And I'm going to give you one idea. If I'm a brand new fish keeper, I don't know how much is too much. Someone once told me, and I think this will sustain a fish, consider that a fish's stomach is about the size of its eye. Now, that may or may not be true. That may be anatomically correct, or it may not be. But just as a point of reference, consider that. A fish's stomach is about the size of its eye. Now, the food that you're going to put in the tank to feed the fish, 
You can hold it in your hand. You can pinch it between your fingers. And then if you want to analyze it a little better, just put it in your hand. I mean, is it the size of a quarter? Are you feeding a small guppy, a live bearer? That may be too much food at one feeding. So think of the fish's uh, eye size, feed about that much, and he can probably empty his stomach two to three times a day. Now, if you'll drop a live plant in the tank as well, again, available on eBay, available on internet sources, available from friends, uh, nurseries uh, that have outdoor pond and water feature plants in the summertime, spring and summertime, you can get a live plant to include in your beginning aquarium. And the fish then can have some of the vegetation from the plant to eat as well. And the plant will take up some of the bad stuff in the aquarium and help you filter your water. Okay, so don't overfeed. Now that's that's number one. And then here's the steep learning curve. We got to talk about that daggone nitrogen cycle because in about week at the end of week one, you, you can encounter a real problem. That's when the tank isn't cycled and the food you've been putting in there and the waste, the food that's not eaten, you begin to get an imbalance in the water chemistry and it causes an ammonia spike. Now this is a bad thing for the fish ammonia. We want to be anti ammonia, right? So there are several ways that we can cycle a tank. And rather than explain that right now, let me say, if you find this video, you're already on the YouTube platform, 80 people still watching. I hope you're chiming in. 80 wonderful, look at this, fish keeping Jamaica here. Talk about fish keeping ideas. This guy is doing it differently than I'm doing it and probably better. But just to let you know, there's a myriad of ways that you can do it. If you're already on the platform and you're needing to avoid an ammonia spike in your water, which is deadly to fish, watch videos on the nitrogen cycle, cycling the aquarium, how to cycle an aquarium. Lots of videos, lots of resources. Read this chat. Probably people are already dropping hints in the chat about how to do this. And you'll find that most experienced fish keepers with more than one fish tank, they take a shortcut. They don't add chemicals. They don't, well, some of them do. There's some new chemicals out there that are supposed to be great. Just add the chemical. It's not a chemical. I said chemical. It's not a chemical. It's actually a live bacteria. And it establishes this colony of beneficial bacteria that eat the ammonia. Beautiful thing. Now you got, you got a whole natural system going in your aquarium. But that's the toughest part. That is the toughest part. There are videos, there's shortcuts, there's over-the-counter solutions. Don't let that be a barrier. If you're thinking of becoming a beginning fish keeper and you're on that learning curve, don't let that scare you away. Em embrace the challenge and definitely follow through. Okay, Chase Elliott won the uh, Alsco Uniforms 500. Oh, that's good. He's, he's had a couple of rough breaks. Somebody let me know where Clint Boyer finished up. If you're coming, that's NASCAR talk. More on that later. How can the world could NASCAR be related to fish keeping? I don't know yet. Okay, so you're thinking about becoming a new aquarium keeper. Rick Bunn's here. What's going on, Rick? And you're, you're on that learning curve. Well, see, cycle a tank. I don't want to learn how to do that. Don't be afraid. Don't let fear keep you from this beautiful, wonderful hobby that I promise you will enjoy. You'll be frustrated at times too. We all have been. But you'll love it. It's worth the effort. There's shortcuts. There's over-the-counter methods. And then, boom, you're cycling your ammonia spike issue is over. You're done with it. It's not coming back. It may come back. Typically, once you get that thing settled, you're over the hump. So then it's just a matter of, and this is a hard part. And this is, this is, we all blow this from time to time. Raise your hand if you've never done this. Overcrowded a tank. 
<laughs> I don't have to walk very far in my house to find an overcrowded tank or three. But now if you're starting out, I'll tell you, don't overstock your tank. You're asking for a disaster and you don't need disaster. You just need a relaxing, cool aquarium to check out. See, we got already, there's people in here. Boyer finished 16th. Thank you, Justin Bix. So I appreciate that. It's middle of the pack, usually where he runs. Okay, so uh, sister Reina, no tank. Oh, new tank, no fish. Go slow. Don't get in a rush. Take it step by step. Enjoy. Again, reach out to people you see here in the chat that have done it longer than we have and watch videos, get some ideas. You, you're going to come across a buffet of options. Pick which one fits you. Go for it. Uh, Fish Keeping Jamaica just said, you might take months and years to learn everything. The greatest thing you can do is to accept others' opinion and accept change. And the what he's saying there, if you're going to do that, you're going to have to be in a forward motion. You're going to have to be doing in order to accept. So that's key. That's key. I mean, go with it. Do what Raleigh says. He says, I've done that especially a week before selling a stock of fish. So take it easy, wade into it, learn all you can. And then you got to follow someone's advice, uh, someone's idea, or, or do something that your imagination tells you is a good idea. Either way, you're following somebody. So do something. Uh, do a little research. It can go a long way. I think it can be a lot of fun. And then when you start watching KG Tropicals videos, he's going to give you all the information you need to keep fish keepers fish keeping. So he does like reviews of 12 different filters. Which one of those do you like the best? His, he and his uh, wife, Lisa, they, they have better sororities. They have discus, breeding discus tanks giant monster tanks with giant monster fish in them, cichlids, arowanas, it's really cool stuff. You never know where this hobby is going to take you, literally. So let me encourage you, if you're considering starting to keep an aquarium, uh, do it. Don't let the fear of cost get in the way. I've got a video how you can do an aquarium in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, Many people have extra aquariums about that they will loan you. Uh, usually, I don't know, usually is a, is a broad term. Um, typically, I would imagine you could search um, newspaper ads and Craigslist, online sources. You could probably find a free aquarium to start with. Go to your pet shop. Your pet shop. They may have one. They'd love to give you a free aquarium if they've got one in the way because they want to sell you the accessories and the fish to put in it. Just don't let the money be a barrier. A little bit of effort and you can overcome the entry level cost. And then learn a little bit about the fish that you're going to put in the, um, the aquarium or the tank or the bucket. Don't overcrowd. Pick, pick a good match, good fish for your aquarium. Don't overfeed. Learn about that cycling of the tank and then don't overstock it. And you are on your way. Good luck. Have fun. Check back in often. Send us pictures. Let us know how you do. What questions do you encounter along the way? Um, Pegasus Arena says, thanks for the shout outs. My first time seeing your stream, trying to learn how to lower ammonia. Got to wait a week to afford two fantails. Good luck. Let us know. Please keep us posted on your fantail success. I can't wait to hear. Fishkeeping Jamaica says to remind the folks. Um, yeah, we do. We all learn from each other. And uh, that's part of the community. And we definitely lean on each other. We, I mean, there's, there, are chan there are creators in this chat that I watch on the reg that not only inspire me, but they teach me things. They, they save the lives of my fish from time to time. Uh, Deb Hall D says, Rachel O'Leary, species spotlights, YouTube videos. Absolutely. Rachel O'Leary, um, whom if you look through my catalog of 
videos, you'll find that I've spoken to her several times and she inspired me to do outdoor fish tubs. So in the near future, there will be an update on my fish tubs, which got plants in them today. Um, clear storage tote, big tank, Hank, clear storage tote, clear storage tote equals water in it. Aquarium. Bam. There you go. Big tank. Hank knows the Zen ginger said, I have one part ammonia in my water. Once it cycles itself, it will take care of it fairly immediately. When you do water changes, assuming you use water conditioner, that will de detoxify for 48 hours ish. There's a way. It, there's a way. You got a question? There are answers. There's ways you can do it. Mm. Rick Bunn, classic. Still has a slate bottom meta frame. In fact, just spawned auto sinkless in it. Beautiful. What size is it, Rick Bunn? Mine was a 10 gallon. I know they made different sizes. Lefty 3213A agrees 100% with fish keeping uh, Jamaica. I do too. As a matter of fact, if, you, if you're not aware of fish keeping Jamaica's channel, you ought to go watch a few of his videos. Check out, check out his fish setups. Do that. Do that. Expand your world. Lori Vinker's in the house saying good night, Jessica, and I'll follow up on that. Good night, Jessica. HEPA Aquatics. I now have 220 gallon discus. The learning curve is tremendously different now. <laughs> HEPA Aquatics, speaking of keeping discus, that is an advanced endeavor. That is a holy grail fish for many of us and an excellent target to aim for. But I'd like to know um, how your discus do there, HEPA Aquatics. That would be a good one to follow. Fish Keeping Jamaica says, eerie boss. <laughs> nice. Uh, is that rum? And, you know, someone mentioned some nice Jamaican rum to me today. It sounded so good. This is actually a low calorie apple juice. I think it's what we say on live streams. It's a low calorie apple juice. And I've got it turned the wrong way. That's one of my other pet projects, the Kingsport Birding Trail. Yes, that's what we should be looking at. The River Life sticker. If you've gotten a chance to ever see me in person, I've probably handed you a couple of those stickers. If you'd like to have a couple and we haven't met, um, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to my post office box. And I'll send you a couple of the River Life stickers along with some other fish tube and fish keeping channels stickers because we're doing a sticker jam. They sent me these stickers. You send me the envelope. I give you my stickers and their stickers. I'm just the distribution hub for the stickers. I've got some cool stickers. Fish Room Fever, Chattanooga Ed. Uh, I'm all out of Taylor's Aquatics. Uh, supposedly, there are some stickers in the mail from... Australia, although international mail is really backed up right now. The Zen Ginger as uh, mod extraordinaire has got the post office box address in the chat. Yeah, drinking, not a good practice. No, nope, especially not when you're on the air, as we know. I do not have inside stickers for cars streetwise. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Pega Sister Raina says, River Life will do. You're all super awesome. Thank you very much. My kids are joining the hobby with me. That is great news. I'm in the Facebook Aquarium group. Look for Sabrina Druitt. Sure will. I sure will. I plan to keep everyone posted on my progress. Well, we're glad to know about that. Oh, and Kaler's Aquatics has just dropped another super sticker, $4.99. It's a a blonde purple person with their head in the clouds saying hiya. Well, hello there, Kaler's Aquatics. That means it's time for me to look at the clock. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. It is 1119. We're going to go for 10 more minutes. 
And then we're going to shift over to um, the Nocturnal Feeding Show hosted by the Chattanooga Ed Channel and co-hosted by um, Fish Room Fever, James. Now, that's a piece of community work over there. That channel has been following this live stream for some time, but it originated on Fish Room Fever Channel. And once Fish Room Fever Channel got established and monetized and built, then they shifted that show over to the Chattanooga Ed Channel so we can help build the Chattanooga Ed Channel. So uh, 80 people still watching, please. Once we leave here in a few minutes, let's go over to the Chattanooga Ed Channel. Uh, and there, the Zen Ginger already has the link in the chat. Of course she does. That's the Nocturnal Feeding live stream. It's up in less than 10 minutes. And if you're not a friend of Ed's, make friends with his channel when you get over there. I think you're going to enjoy. Um, uh, Lefty3213A having some conversation there with Alaska Hood. I know that's true. Absolutely. And what about, oh, I want a koozie. I do too. I am, so, listen, swag game week here. I'm down to stickers and I've got to, I mean, I've got to get t-shirts and koozies, right? I mean, we need t-shirts and koozies. Look at this t-shirt. It's worn, it's worn out. Um, the ink is washing off the shirt. I need another aquarium shirt and I need to make one with the river life logo. I think it would be pretty cool. Don't you guys? I've done koozies before. They were so popular. I'm completely out. I need to get some more. Uh, I do have um, river life art is available on river life art Etsy. There's anything from a postcard to prints. And the art show that's hanging, Rat Cross Endorsed by Nature, there are some framed prints like this. Catalog coming soon. You'll be able to buy art out of the show. It'll have the art, a brief description, and an amount or a price. So that's coming this week, first of next week. If you're following, you know I'm trying to overcome the special situation, get a chance to get some better pictures of the art. We were a little rushed the way things worked out. Didn't get the pictures made. So that's a goal. Get some better pictures of the art so we can release the uh, catalog with the prices. We got that going on. Uh, Lefty32138, mail uh, shipped to you today, sir. I hope you enjoy that. The Zen Ginger says, I use too many meds to eat my fish, even if it wasn't creepy. Okay, so apparently there's been a discussion in the chat over eating uh, fish. It is a little creepy. Some people, I guess, do it. Some, I guess, why not? I mean, if you're uh, doing um, aquaponics and you've got tilapia as part of your system, that's what they're there for. It's part of the food chain. Okay, Riverwife says, <laughs> Lefty says, thank you, Cards. And as a matter of fact, he said that because I sent him one. Um, and thank you for the compliment. I do have those available. I haven't listed them for sale yet. I do have a couple of different variations of the thank you cards with River Life Art on them. 1124, we're wrapping up here. I'm looking through the chat to see if there are any names I, that I've overlooked. I know there are. I apologize. X Scully Fish X, new to River Life Channel. Really enjoyed the live stream. Looking forward to more. Fantastic. Glad to have you. We enjoyed having you here. I hope you'll come back. Check out some of the content. Um, I do spend a lot of effort editing when I do a video. So I hope that you'll enjoy those videos. Um. Uh, yeah, Dragon Lair says, grow out some peacock bass. I hear they're delicious. I hear people go halfway across the world to catch and eat peacock bass. I don't know. I did see an interesting video on YouTube of some kids catching peacock bass out of the sewage dr uh, drainage system in Florida. Was fishing, <laughs> pulling them out of you know, the gutter 
They're just fishing in the gutter, pulling out peacock bass on the street. It's crazy. Oh, YouTube. Fish Keeping Jamaica said, this was a great chat. I enjoyed myself. Well, I'm glad. Thanks for pitching in. And if you don't participate, it's not great. So, Raleigh, thanks for participating. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, always welcome. I hope you'll you'll be here as often as you can make it. Frankie Fins is here. Where do you get Driftwood online? Frankie Fins, I get mine from Aquarium Co-op, Flip Aquatics. Um think I bought some. There's an excellent selection at my local fish store in Knoxville. Uh, Aquatic Marine had an outstanding selection of driftwood. I'm not sure if they have it available online, but maybe if you called them, you could work out something. That's Aquatic Marine in Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. GRB Aquatic says canal drains. Peacock bass, Oscars, cichlids, alligators, yeah, snakeheads, you name it. Snakes, yeah, reticulated pythons. You go far enough south in Florida, you never know what you're going to catch. Oh, congratulations, Raleigh. Are you out of school for a, a seasonal break, or is it the special social situation? Colorado Fisher. That's a new name. Hello. Hello to you. Welcome. Good to see you there. I don't think I've ever said your name. Nice to meet you. In these waning moments, 1126. Tonight we had new members. Thank you so much to all the members that joined. I'm on, I'm using the new live stream uh, technology. So I don't have access to the, to all the information that's available on YouTube, but the next time we get together, I'll definitely make sure if I overlooked thanking a new member, you'll get your due um, recognition there because I do appreciate that. Again, that's the gas in the tank that helps not only sustain the physical equipment, the physical plant of the channel, but definitely it's an emotional boost and I appreciate it so much. Okay. All right. Distance teaching and learning. Yeah, that's the new world. Maybe it's going to be the, the world from now on. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But we are adapting. We're an adaptive bunch. We're strong together. We're here together. And we're going we're gonna to go on together. We'll just have to maybe figure out a few new ways. Project, hashtag Project Poselia. That's a group of, um, it's not a group. Yeah, hashtag Project Poselia is an emphasis on live bears, especially guppies in the Poselia uh, genre. And we're celebrating these live bears as an entry as entry uh, fish, a gateway fish to get people involved. And, and even as a 50-year fish keeper and collector, I still love guppies and the live bears. They still intrigue me. They still inspire me, obviously. Got the Endler's Live Bearer print right here. So um, we're celebrating that. We're pumping it up. We're raising awareness. We're inviting people to check it out. We've got a contest going on. Uh, and there are people in this chat that know far more about that than I do. Lefty, the Zen Ginger. Um, on Facebook, there's a hashtag Project Posilia Facebook page where a contest is being hosted where you can enter different uh, creative media, videos, photographs, paintings, poems, whatever you want to do that celebrates uh, the live bearers and the Poselia group, particularly the guppies, with prizes being awarded. There's trophies. I'm giving art to winners. I'm even giving, I'm selecting out of all the entries across all the medias, I'm selecting the one that inspires me the most to win uh, River Life Project Poselia Award. So check that out on Facebook and get involved. If you, if you want to get involved in some creative things that don't involve you having to have fish, if you're just learning about fish, thinking about starting that first aquarium, this is a great way to jump into a community, get to know some folks, share your talent with us. It doesn't have to be a photograph of your fish. You can go to the fish store and take it. You can go to your friend's house. Just the picture is going to be judged. And you do have to take the picture. 
Okay. There is some chat going on. I'm so far behind. HC Aqua says the deadline for hashtag Project Posilia contest is coming up soon, isn't it? And the Zen Ginger says, yes, the end of the month. So you've got until the end of the month to get busy, chop, chop, to get involved in hashtag Project Posilia. Dragon Liar mentions uh, that his first fish 63 years ago were black mollies. So that was his gateway fish. Awesome. 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 We do have the nocturnal feeding live stream coming up next on the Chattanooga Ed channel. Again, the Zen Gingers posted that link in the chat. I want to see you guys over there. How about, how about we go over there with the hashtag? There's 66 people still here. Probably 15 of you already over there. It's 1130. Now we're wrapping up. We're closing shop right here. Um, let's go over to Chattanooga Ed channel with the hashtag community. I love that hashtag hashtag community. We're all going to go over. We're going to, we're just going to raid the Chattanooga Ed channel and say hello to everybody over there at the nocturnal feeding. Let's do that right now. I'll see you guys here again soon. I'll be back in the morning, both here for a brief, uh, live stream. And then we're going to the Facebook, uh, the river life art Facebook page immediately following a live stream here in the morning. So I'll see you at 1130 here in the morning. Until then, why don't you get out there and see it, love it, and live it?